everyone and welcome to the second week of Wednesday workouts with Savannah Miller brought to you by USTA. So I am so excited to be here again and that you guys are watching this video. Today I kind of want to take some time and talk about the importance of making sure that you have a physically fit and healthy body in addition to having those strong twirling skills as well. Like I said, it is so important not only to train the routine that you are getting ready to compete, but also train your body in a way that is allowing you to be not only strong in your core, but also have a very strong heart and build that stamina so you can fully make it through that routine when competition does come. So today, I am actually going to take you guys through a few exercises that will allow you to strengthen your core. Now these are for Beginners can do this and elite athletes. I guarantee you, no matter what level you're at in twirling, these exercises are going to make your body shake and they're really going to force you to really think about your core and how you can be strengthening that in this time of quarantine. I think these exercises are something that you can do right inside of your house. You don't have to go outside. They don't involve a baton, but at the end of the day, they're going to push you to become a better athlete and they're really going to strengthen your body Body, so you are physically ready to take the competition floor. So let's get started. All right guys, so like you see on the floor, I actually have a yoga mat that I'm gonna be using to do these exercises, but you don't have to have a yoga mat whatsoever. You can use a towel, you can do it on your carpet. Whatever you guys wanna use, that's fine. You will need, if you don't have a Pilates ball, you can use a roll of toilet paper. I know, hot commodity right now but you can use this as a great tool um, to really focus on certain areas of your body with these exercises. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I know it's awkward, but put it between your legs and you really wanna squeeze it nice and tight. And with the Pilates ball, it's a lot easier, but toilet paper works the same. From here, my feet are planted at the back of my mat about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna stretch all the way up, reach forward, and I'm gonna walk my hands out into a plank. So, shoulders are over your hands, butt is down. From here, we're just gonna hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, we're gonna lift our right foot off the ground. So it's gonna go lift one, two, squeezing that ball or toilet paper, five, six, seven, eight. Now switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold for another eight count. Woo, I'm shaking. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Now from here, you're going to bend your knees. You can come down to start, get your arms underneath your shoulders. From here, my butt is not over my heels. It's right over my knees, okay? This one's the tricky one. So, from here, you're gonna lift up just slightly and hold and drop back down. One, two, three, four. You'll do this for eight. From here, after you've completed eight, you're squeezing your thighs together, squeezing that ball or that toilet paper together. So we go up, we're gonna squeeze, 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 woo, squeeze, squeeze for eight and then just hold. You really wanna think about squeezing your core. My core is shaking and I do this all the time, so yours should be too. Woo, breathe. set of exercises. So we're going to come down and sit on our butts. From here, we're going to go into what's called C curve. For those of you that take bar or yoga or any other types of workout classes. So you're sitting on your butt. Your The C is your chest. So you're as if someone has punched you in the stomach, you're squeezing that core. It's nice and tight. My feet, I'm up on my toes. My arms are out in first position, and I'm seated, seated 
stack. Now for those of you with back problems, you can take either your toilet paper or a pillow and place it behind your back to give yourself some more cushion. From here, we're gonna lift each leg. So it's gonna go right, left, right, left. Ooh, squeezing that core. Keeping that chest lifted. You can do eight each side, 10 each side, however many you wanna do. Now from here, the next exercise, you hold and lift your leg straight out. This is really hard for me. And you hold, 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 and come back down. And you do it all over again. So you can do that as many times as you want as well. Now, to make it a little bit more intense for more, my more elite athletes or those with a really strong um, body, I can't do this one very well, but I'll try my best for you. So once your legs are out straight, you can bring your arms out. Ooh, let's try it again. So arms come out and back in. Yeah? So you can do that as many times as you want. In addition, I'm gonna give you one more exercise to really strengthen that core. So you're gonna lay all the way down on your back. Arms go out to the side. You kind of call these the sexy legs. So you're... <laughs> Your arms are out by your sides. Your legs are out. Your legs are gonna come straight. You're going to lower your leg. That left leg goes into passe. Your right leg goes straight. Go back, up, and switch. You're using those lower abs to keep it controlled all the way up and down. To make it a little bit harder for you, you can lift your shoulders off the ground, giving yourself the Crunch position. Nice passe, don't sickle that foot. It comes all the way up, all the way down, really using that core to keep your legs up off the ground. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these exercises this week. Um, I just wanna remind you how important it is to stay physically fit while you are training during this time. Um, these exercises are something that you can add to your daily warm-up routine. Like I said during that video, I was sweating already. Um, they're just exercises that even I do every day and I still shake and struggle with as well. Um, in addition to that, another great way to really build your stamina is by doing some type of cardio in addition to twirling. I know for me, I absolutely hate running. I think my whole family and coaches know that I hate running, but it is so important to find something that you do love that you will be passionate about doing every single day. And for me, I found the alternative in cycling. And so that's something that I have really taken a hold of and try to do at least every day or every other day in addition to these simple workouts that you can do at home. So with that, I hope you enjoyed these little workouts and you post some videos about trying new things and just making sure that you're physically fit on this workout Wednesday. So catch you next week for one more week of Wednesday workouts with Savannah Miller and I hope to see you guys then. Bye.